It will be a big celebration for Ray Wiley Hubbard tomorrow at the Paramount Theater for his 75th birthday. Ray, plus special guest and friend Hayes Carl, will make it a memorable time sharing stories and singing songs. You can get tickets now and happy birthday, Ray. Day one of filming for the Cindy Walker documentary went off without a hitch at last night's Bubbles in My Beer tribute concert. The women of Western Swing and the Sims Foundation teamed up to raise money for musicians' mental health needs. I'll be interviewing Georgia Parker for the documentary, but last night it was a packed crowd at the AVGB where patrons enjoyed the sounds of Western Swing. I spoke with Bob Apple right after he finished singing the show's title song, Bubbles in My Beer. You know, musically, it is just three chords and, uh, and a very simple melody that can be sung, it can be played on guitar, it can be played on the steel guitar and on the fiddle and as a band and, and uh, you know, people feel that and can relate to it. We'll let you know when the social media pages and website launch for the Cindy Walker documentary to connect with the story. And Taylor Swift takes her music back. Red, Taylor's version, released today. Taylor's re-recording all six albums she released before her masters were sold to Scooter Braun in 2019. Red, Taylor's version, features nine vault tracks and a duet with Chris Stapleton on I Bet You Think About Me. The record is already blazing up the charts for streams. It's the exact same thing Cody Canada plans to do to be able to regain control of his masters from his cross-Canadian ragweed days. Here's what he said about that to me when I interviewed him at Coke Fest. And y'all are about to re-record some things. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I need to own my music again. I, uh, I tried to get my hands on the box of weed, the box set that uh, Universal South did. Mm -hmm. That was our, that counted as our sixth record. Um, I called them. They said they wanted thirty-five dollars a piece. I was like, "These are my songs. Like, you don't own these recordings." So I got really mad and then really depressed, mm -hmm. and just walked away from it. And then Taylor Swift, the same thing happened to her right. and the same people, same guy. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just doing what she did. I'm just going to re-record stuff yeah. so I can have it on vinyl again. And what I've been telling everybody, my wife said, "You know, it's, it's going to get critiqued." I said, I'm so over what people think. Exactly. I don't care. Exactly. These are my songs, my kids, yeah. my friends. Ray Wiley's coming in, Randy's coming in. Everybody's coming in to do it. And, that, and, cool. and I'm going to do it with the, the other records from Ragweed, just so I can yeah. own my own music again. And yeah. um, I'm going to do it the way we do it now. I'm not going to copy it. Right. I'm going to do it in my studio take my time <laughs> yeah it's just our time you know what i mean the fans are really loving the old music made new scotty back to you